Hello, you everyone. Are. Well, I can actually give you a little rundown if you want. But hello, everyone. Mecha here knows nothing about 40k, but I know quite a bit. I know a good chunk, mostly thanks to him. Yeah. But they... I don't indulge normally. The Alpha Legion are hard to explain as they are the espionage of the... They were supposed to be the espionage group of all the... Well... The Astartes of all the Legions, but uh, we don't really know... I understand. Know... If you place them further into the battlefield. No. Quite literally, the meme of their Primarch is I am Alpharius, because basically all of them... May change their faces so that they would look like Alpharius, even under the helmet, and he was about the same size as them. That is... Okay, then we have the 40k equivalent of the Seekers, I guess. Uh, they also have this thing where we never really know their true intentions. They sometimes help both sides. We don't even know what side they're on. Every single book that always goes on to say that it's hearsay because it's a story that we know. The drums were so loud on Yuna's one. A crowd so alive and vital. The world had always been kind of odd. Adjective. To us, I should say. Mm. The young ones were healthy, happy, well educated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Proud and Alpharius also has his brother Omega on. It was twins. The elders were respected, honored, and trusted. The names just clicked. God it damn be. it. Yeah, yeah. So they, GW's not as smart as I think they are. Like that one time one of the Primarchs fought. The enemy, this weird entity I called, this, this weird entity called Satan on the world of Morningstar. God damn, they thought they were real fucking clever about that one, didn't they? Probably. As I wish it were. Oh, did I tell you? Did I ever tell you what the what the Eldar refer to humans as? Those assholes over there, I presume. No, Monkai. Fuckers! Uh, on our worlds. Pretty much. My ship houses a statue saved from the world. Oh. It depicts two members of the guard standing back to back, That's fighting nice. against the dark and the horrors. All we of know is that the Alpha Legion supposedly I sided with the traitors. Because it was saved before the world was lost. My brothers and I were tracking a band of traitor marines along We really the don't know whose side they're on. Oh, they also have this ability with their armor to make it look like the the armor of other Space Marine chapters. I see. Yeah, they do this kind of thing a lot. It had been a very long time. Oh, and no. My brothers and I followed a small band of world eaters. The world As eaters the are a particularly Eagles, tragic chapter. Most of None of the world eaters employ guile. Strategy. They were originally a pretty nice guys until they got the butcher's nails implanted to them due to their father also having the butcher's nails. It's basically like uh, nails. They're nails that go into your head that cause you to have migraines and pains all the time if you're not killing. I don't think you need magic nails for that. I think normal nails will cause aches and pains oh, all the damn time. They're, like they're not magic they're nails. They're nails, nails implanted they in your brain. They, and they alone. Yeah, I think you can put regular nails in your brain and have constant aches and agony. No, but these are specifically made to constantly make it to where if you aren't killing or causing pain to others, it will cause you huge when amounts of pain. know that in following them... We would end up in a very, the fuck do they keep in their ships? Random world. people to torture what people for the skeleton. long trip? I mean, sometimes. Sometimes they uh, just beat each other up. One time one guy had a fight with his apothecary, which is basically their doctor, and eventually bit his fi and the dude bit his fingers off, so he killed him. And then went to the next lady and, that, and just rolled up with a bunch of puke and fingers in what was basically left of his hand and said, fix this. And then when she said, I can't really fix that, he cut off his arm and said, okay, just replace it with the metal arm. I think that's right. I got no terribly this is. Uh, let me just put it, the world eaters are very tragic in that they were very, like, the people think that they were basically going to be the therapists of the group. In a subtle manner. They no and then God. they're this now. And a lot of dead would be therapists. 
So, yeah, the world eaters where they are tragic. They spill the most blood. Oh. Agron was also very nice sell. before the butcher's nails. But, would say. but dealing On with the, the 54th day of following the cluster of blood fools, we engaged them above a small, defunct planet that had been abandoned by the Imperium. Okay. For reasons unknown to us, they decided to land on the world. Oh, great. More crazy stuff by Alpharius. to see what would happen when you maroon a hundred blood crazed murderers on a rock. Oh. We sabotaged their ship, a floating rusted hull they unironically called Blood Drinker. Oh, I think this is what Elf the Alpha Legion did to their ship, because they love to do with espionage stuff. So. abandoned, desolate world, and they were forced oh. to land with all hands. Oh, it is yeah. very amusing indeed to sit in low orbit and watch as a dozen axe wielding maniacs oh. hack each other to shreds. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that does sound like a good way to spend Saturday. Uh, the, the, the world ears were corrupted by corn. He's unfortunately a very easy god to fall to for some people in this universe, which is the god of blood and war, so. I mean, wow! I wonder why the people who physically need to ki will to be killing and maiming or else in constant pain fell to the god of killing and maiming. Funny enough, he didn't originally want Angron. He went with my boy saying he tried to get my boy Sanguinius because originally Sanguinius's legion were called the Revenant and had a thing about blood and killing because they needed to drink. Well, they didn't need to it. The blood made them stronger. But uh, Sanguinius was able to resist him, and then he went after Rogel Dorn, so Agron was his third pick. R the problem with Rogel Dorn, he's, he has a, such a stoicism to him and such a steadfast defiance that it was never going to work. During the ensuing carnage, we received a waylaid Vox message requesting okay. assistance. The message had come from Eunice. Oh. We disengaged after we hobbled the world eaters. When we arrived on Eunice, we found a near paradise world. Our contact was, oh. as it always is. Oh no. General Oliver Stefan Bale informed mm. us there had been unusual events on the streets of the world's capital. This, uh. Um... What a city it was. Twin Suns. Oh no. The global capital, Twin Suns, had been the victim of phantoms in the night. Oh, wonderful. Do I? There's something worth looking into, believe me. So we don the mantle of the oh. Frost Wolves and oh. opened comms with that proud check. Oh, they pretended to be Space Wolves. We explained that we'd be en route to this one as soon as our jets could carry us there. A wonder city. A hive that made all other hives seem like filth caked cesspools. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it does the seem bad. All these, the, all this imagery descriptions just make me think, God damn, this sounds like the nicest place to live. Uh, yeah, Paradise Worlds are pretty nice. You know, there's also Death Worlds and Agri Worlds, you can probably guess what those are. And Manufactorum yeah, but... Worlds. Wait, wait, wait. Is this where the trope name of Death World came from? Maybe. Death Worlds are basically the, what the name implies. They're very bad worlds to live on. Right. And met with General yep. Olivus to discuss these events. Shadows had been seen moving without anyone oh, to no. cast them. Phantoms had wailed in the night. Is it the Night Lords? People had gone missing or the Alpha Legion? Or vanished in broad daylight on the crowded streets. No, if it was the Night Lords, they'd do it more. It is at this point in this tale that along comes a snake. Oh, it's the, the Dark Eldar. Many years before the blood worshippers that decided oh. to launch them. But they are the worst. Of genocide. That is the stupidest fucking snack I've ever seen. Yes, but it, it's Correct. not made to just kill. It's made to cause you as much pain and suffering as possible. And then is that why it has a backwards facing bayonet? <laughs> Pretty much. The, the Dukari are very spiky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are... <laughs> The, they found a way, basically the Drakari or the spa the dark space elves, the dark Eldar, basically found a way to... Are they to to make tables out of people? Uh, they might. That's usually the demons. 
They, uh, but if you're making a table out of a person and you're a Drakari, the table will probably still be alive and in as much pain as possible. Because they learn to be able to resist basically uh, one of the Chaos Gods from eating their souls by causing suffering to other people. And started to revel in it. Yes. They will locate certain objects of interest to us. They would be free to do so however they pleased, indulging whatever desires they wished. Why would uh, we care if they poison themselves while working for us? This is Kari, right? No sword told as he whispered. Drukari. Everyone hates the Drukari. Even the, even the even the normal Eldar hate the Drukari. <laughs> Well, of course, they're space elves, and obviously space elves hate dark space elves because they're not elves enough. Well, the dark, the dark Eldar are quite literally the worst, as I said before. Their home world, their home of Kamara, is as I've put it, and have other have put it. Uh, the lo if the whole galaxy is a rundown town, then Kamara is the local strip club turned insane asylum. I see. Yeah. Who else would vanish citizens? Who else would project wraiths and ghosts? Who else would use fear as a weapon so effectively? Well, the Night Lords, technically. Other than us, of course. Ah. Uh. It turns out that beneath the city, the Drukari had slowly but surely been building a sub-city. An underground oh. world of tortured towns and pleasure palaces. Of course. It was obvious that this band of readers had ignored our requests. Oh. Abandoned their search for the requested items and oh. simply given in to their base desires. Yeah, that's Shukari. So they would learn fear. General Olivus was all too happy to offer himself and his legion of Imperial God called the Starborn. Well, yeah. He believed that he was about to engage in a righteous crusade. Well, technically, he was. Zenos alongside the mighty wolves of Fenris. He couldn't believe his luck. We were all too happy to bark and howl and swear and drink like the sons of Rush. Yeah, they're really Such good at this. Such basic souls are easily copied. We, of course, knew the plan. We informed General Olivus of our suspicions and suggest that we and his troops investigate because he there's... insisted that as it was his city that he and his men lead the way forward it is believed that it's possible that alpharius and omegon differed on how they wanted to handle it i think people think omegon became a loyalist and alpharius was a traitor Fine which makes us. things more complicated from the rear as our because it's the espionage the faction same. we know the, li the, the least about the imperial god one known as the starborn Tenacious, despite lacking the internal hardware needed for true tenacity. Mm. It is here that I must mention one important fact. And what that is that? The hauntings. The sightings of phantoms and shades. They were not the acts of the elves. Huh? The elves have found some. Oh no! Powerful enough to dissuade us marines from pursuing the them. Necrons. The phantasms were projected. It's a tomb world. That's bad. Oh. Well, shit. I guess you can't pick your neighbors. Uh, do you remember why I told you about what a tomb world is? Yeah, it's where the Necrons were, were hibernating. Yeah, they basically waited for their worlds to become set as, like, basically sediment to fall over them. This happens all the time, where a plant will just realize that there's, there's secretly a tomb world, and suddenly things start glowing green under their homes made by you, you'd think they'd be able to figure out if there's, oh, if there's enough necrons to be a, re a major threat you fucking notice that during construction and well foundation. here's the th here's the thing the necrons have been resting for millions upon millions of years so the sediment is like it's like when we find oil it's really deep under there the Eldar were hired to track down the location of a certain gate of Necron origin. Oh no. And they had succeeded in a fairly grand fashion. One of the Proto Gate twins was buried beneath you, this one. Okay. And it was through this gate that the Eldar were traveling. 
They had found the Gates twin on a small, desolate world, roughly five light years to the galactic north of Eunice. Okay. The gate what the glowed. Fuck is north? That Space fierce, three dimensions. almost conscious green. No, they mean by the galaxy. The continued use of the gate, their pillaging of technology. Because we don't rotate. We don't go. Basically, they go off of the spiral arms and whatnot. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a huge thing, but, uh, anyway, moving on. Arrogance had awoken something far, far worse than themselves. Eunice was in a good galactic location. Many species would kill to inhabit it. As the sun rose over twin suns, the noble we'll wolves say. and the proud star we'll transitions. Yeah, it's a very... Begin a campaign it's, good. it's a very scary kind of transition. Extermination against the vermin infesting it the city. It immediately tells you that shit is about Three to happen. Of course, yeah. Accidents. Oh. How many Imperial Guardsmen died to traps or ambushes? Oh, that's a Necron flare. Oh joy. Simply vanished before yeah, they, they could they... be questioned. Oh. Who knows? Well, I know. But you see my point. As time ground on, we begin to find more and more already dead elves. Oh yeah, the Necron are start skins, killing. And in their typical efficient class, Oh no! This is even worse, it's the Necron Flares. I thought you already said it was the Flares. Yes, but I thought it was like one or two. I didn't think they were actually gonna be Necron Flares. That's, that's even worse. Little did they know, this is where they go on Saturday nights. Uh, Necron flares have no real mind of their own and just feel a hunger that can't be quenched for flesh and start uh, to wear strips of flesh. So the Necrons have confirmed one important thing. That the it's Necron like a disease. For was indeed awake. Is that the same? We found more and more lingering Necron soldiers and more of the Imperial Guard fell to their staggeringly powerful Gauss weaponry. What is Gauss? They were of no concern to us. Uh, basically it disintegrates you at a molecular level. You know, this kind of reminds me of those old Mars Attacks trading cards, actually. Oh. Each god who engaged in I don't know if you've ever seen the art of what their disintegration rays look like. Oh, yeah. They, 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 the oh, oh, yeah, there's sometimes a thing... There's sometimes a thing where they uh, re-necronify because it's a liquid metal. They sometimes turn other people into weaker necrons. It's... And the necron was buried in filth beneath a world that paid them no regard. Finally, we reached the proto gate, buried beneath mm. the world. That okay. General, all of us could not believe his luck. Mm. My battle brother and General Olivus agreed to step through the gate that night. Okay. They didn't tell me, knowing I would instantly deny such a foolish idea. The guard and my brother stormed the gate. They set area mm -hmm. denial charges on it. Makes sense. Charges that would detonate if they hadn't returned in 24 hours. Makes sense. I know what you're thinking. How did I not stop them? Or even know? I was investigating the effects of the tectonic pulse when they stormed the gate. 625 members of the Eunice 1st Battalion and 24 of my fellow Astartes entered that portal. One man came out. Oh. He got to blindly charge into the unknown and throw his life and the lives of his men away. It was as we approached the gate that I received uh. word that the Dark Elf leader, one Prince Oria Storm, had been captured. I can oh. hear the fucking air quotes. Well, yeah, you don't, uh, no one considers them princes and whatnot. Especially not humans. Does Warrior Tier do all his own voice acting? I think so. Excellent work. Yeah. Excellent work. But not yet. I turned, my ice blue eyes flashing in that way. Yeah, they can also change their faces. Understand. Lord Olivus. The moment is here. Our chance to guide this fair world has finally arrived. Claw leader Yorn, it has been a long campaign, but we wouldn't be here if it were not for you. How can we ever thank you and your men? He cuts his boots together 
and stared into the faces of a dozen space wolves. Well. Lord, we will mm. come here so we may join in the final hunt. The hunt that will see the great beast finally brought down into a drive. Very oh. helped as I spoke. My brothers joined in. Oh no. Barely managing to stop themselves what? from laughing. Yeah, this is Alpha Legion. You told me that they had stepped through the gates. Them. And for found fun. themselves inside a complex. That sounds right. A vast, oh, lofty no. megastructure of black stone. Asshole in TF2 that plays spy not to win but to be a dickhead. Or yeah. it's not the entire to, fucking as we call it. I still uh, kind of. It's it's a thing. I, we don't like I said. We don't really know what Elfaris and his legion are playing. We only know bits and pieces, and sometimes we don't even know that. Legion of a mortal <sighs> machine stood before him. In front of that legion rose a figure, its necrodermis covered with gold and platinum. Oh, I hate that. Term. What? Necrodermis. Yeah, that is the name of the metal. That's the living metal that they have. Y yeah, I know what it means. Witness, begin speaking, wondering about humanity. The I figured you did. Who dare take me to the throne of my lord Anatot the Dreamer? The figure That's asked. actually a cool shield. The fight lasted oh, yeah. two minutes and 14 seconds. All of us engaged the Necron Lord in close quarters to wow. save the life of my brother. Huh. The Necron Lord kicked all of us in the chest with enough force to send him flying back through the gate. Damn. All of us had grabbed the staff. That the being see, held to disarm it. species has one weakness, and then he kicked him in the dick. <laughs> he just... But he grabbed the staff. He flew through the gate, the still holding the solid platinum staff. He oh. landed against me and stared into my green lenses. I took that staff from him. Mm -hmm. The artifact oh, of the glory I decided wasn't worth finding. Oh. What? What? Wait. Who? Where? He asked. He survived, somehow, though okay. his body was broken, and his mind was scarred beyond the imagination of most mortals. He spent a year in the Medicaid units, Makes sense. in various therapies and receiving various treatments. Yep. Yeah, that kind of crazy magic machine stuff from the Necrons and other stuff will do that to you. Yeah. I see. He can walk now, though he needs a stick to do so. General Olivis oh. still asked me. Who are you? During long voyages. He cannot comprehend what the staff is. The oh. staff of the 18th light was forged in a light. time before the Necron. What? And it is now mine. In hallucinogenic induced fugue states. Do you understand how told me long I've waited for a back scratcher of this quality? Oh my god, no. Good in that chamber. And worst of all, he screams as he tells me of the figure behind the standing army. Oh, a fragment of all of his mind still lives in that room. And still I'm remembers not that steel. Like Magic Gathering cards. Which I, I mean, suppose makes sense now. I mean, yeah, some of them are Magic the Gathering cards oh, now. Oh, forming into a smirking, mocking face. Oh, oh wait, this... is that Treason the Infant? No, he doesn't have and a Necron under him, does he? Words. Who are you? I pinned the medal to all of his chests myself. It's the mm -hmm. least I could do. He travels with me, not being able to live on Eunice any longer. Wait, really? Who are you? He asked, and I reply, I am Alpharius. Yeah, that's about right. This is the point where you, where you should just shit bricks. Well, whenever uh, all of them say I am Alpharius, there's the, yeah, but there the, is, that, the, the Alpha Legion is here. You should shit bricks. You've been played. We don't know anything about them, really. It's it's very confusing. What, All the more reason to shit bricks. What I was about to say is the start of the book for the Alpha Legionnaires is this. It starts with this. I am Alpharius, and that is a lie. Oh, I love that. That 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 is a solid way to start this. 
Yeah, maybe I'll send you one of the books later. But yeah, that is the start of the book. That's why it's repeated. Every time someone made a meme of saying, I am Alpharius. I am Alpharius. I am Alpharius. It's quite literally doing the Spargus thing, but yeah. Well, at least I got him interested in the Alpha Legion. I'm interested in at least the right well, because the writing at least is competent. Because, yeah, that's a very, very good opening hook. True. Eh, maybe one day we'll do a story of Rogaldorn. But for now, thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later.